if you need to get a surgery, uh, there's one question you ask when you're interviewing a surgeon, and, and please don't just pick the first surgeon that comes to you. Um, and that question is, how many times have you done the surgery this morning, right? In other words, hmm? there is a, the reason is a surgeon who's done many of them. In fact, sometimes you see places where there's like a, a, a surgical assembly line. <laughs> assembly line, right? Where the surgeon's yeah, going yeah. in, doing a surgery, and the next, those are the best surgeons. They've seen so many circumstances, so many variations. Yeah that they're not caught off guard by something going on. They have massive experience. You know, your brain is a neural net and it's being trained yep. by everything you see. And so you want a surgeon that's seen a lot and trained up their neural net. Because um, it's really, it's a hand skill coordination and it's a knowledge coordination. So in the future, we're going to see surgical robots that have seen not just a thousand cases or 5,000 cases over their career, but have seen, you know, you know, you know, 50 million cases because they share all of their knowledge across every surgery, every done, ever done as part of the operating system. And they don't have fights with their girlfriends or boyfriends. They mm -hmm. can see in infrared and ultraviolet. They don't have too much coffee. Their hand's not shaking. So I think that's coming. And I think they also can create a virtual view of the world so they can have, you know, you know, that 3D view so they can literally see everything around them so they know where they are as opposed to the doctor actually trying to figure out where they are. They are constantly knowing where they are in the body. And I really think there's just no doubt in my mind at the end of the day that robotic surgery is here to stay. Yeah. And we hope that one day we won't even need that because our nanobots will be repairing our organs and, and so you won't even need that. I 100%.